diving in to mascara gate. And I can't even believe in a lot of posts, it's risen to the level of a gate. What would Richard Nixon say? Well, he'd probably love it. But here we are. We have Michaela, who is receiving massive, massive social media blowback. For one, posting a video about this L'Oreal telescopic mascara without attaching the paid promotion and also possibly amping up the eye up here with a false lash. All the things that make for a great social media drama. Now for a deep dive into the topic, I encourage you to read the article on time.com by Moises Mendez II. It really is pretty good because you see right here, it's internet culture. It really is of the moment. You know, this type of crisis that's happening for L'Oreal and Michaela. And that's why I think a lot of people have asked for my opinion. Now, as someone who works in the social media online crisis space a lot, I have been following uh, this drama and I haven't chimed in yet because there hasn't been anything to chime in on because no one said anything. And I think that is by design. According to the article, Michaela did respond to the first few comments on her post, but since then it's been shut down. And L'Oreal, and that's interesting because sometimes, as, as I've said on other posts, the loudest response, the most noticeable response is no response, is silence. And this silence could very much be there intentionally. One, Michaela could have been silenced by L'Oreal. Maybe she's encouraged not to say anything until the drama unfolds. L'Oreal, meanwhile, is riding high on all of this earned media because everybody is talking about it and now reporting on it. No one even knew about this mascara before, and now it's all the rage, and that could be the point. Because sometimes the biggest crisis is not really a crisis. It's a big marketing campaign wrapped up in a crisis. L'Oreal comes away with a smash rollout on a product and Michaela, Michaela is vilified and possibly fined by the Federal Trade Commission for not indicating that it's a paid partnership. She's the one who gets dinged. So I see her and I kind of, I kind of feel for this 24 year old. I don't know, but what do you think? I'll chime in when L'Oreal chimes in or Michaela, but I don't think L'Oreal's going to chime in. I don't know. Let me know what you think.